Well, I've been neglecting on the old girl. I don't think I changed the oil unless since I bought it. Might be time to change it. It's only eight years old. garage like and subscribe uh, where's the oil droppy hole I think that might be it there uh, one there uh, there's the oil plug there huh. pipe that was smart all right, put a set of vice grips on the extension tube. Catch the oil, see how much oil goes in this thing. So I don't have to read the manual. Who wants to read the manual? Oh, it does not look good. Not juicy. So clean. Just noticed something here. It's compact 24. I thought it was compact 20. Anyways, the reason for uh, getting into this maintenance is we're getting bombed again. Well, it's just starting actually but I haven't changed oil on this thing since I bought it so might be time for an oil change we'll get the molasses out of it put some fresh oil in it whatever I got kicking around yummy yeah so this is a 208 cc nine and a half foot pounds of torque it's measured in torque not horsepower and if you want a good explanation of torque, whatever the hell that is, I got a video on it. Check up there. But uh, no, this uh, snow machine has been faithful as an old dog. It starts every time. Give her a couple of pumps on the old pumper noggin. Turn the choke over, and she will fire. Which I'll demonstrate shortly. And since I'm doing all this preventative maintenance, may as well get in here and have a look at the old fire maker. See what that's got to say. I just had a brain fart. I'm gonna put some gasoline down the oil tube since you know the oil's so clean in this thing. Freshen her up, rejuvenate it. Try this at home, folks. Well, I better pull the fire maker off. I don't want this thing to start. That looks like rejuvenated. 
Good guess, eh? That should be great. <sighs> I'll just put this right here so it's in my way and I can knock it over and have a big mess to clean up. Uh, that came out easy. in such a ridiculous fucking spot. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna break this. <sighs> Motherfucker. I'd really like to have this spark plug back. I'd really like not to have to buy another one. Oh my god. Bad idea. <sighs> I made a bunch of work for myself. That looks awesome. I'm going to tip my hat to the old vice grip garage and say I'm going to do the right thing and put this thing right back where it came from. Got that in the hole for a shot. Oh, Jesus. Rather be lucky than good. It sucks when you're at that age. You can't see with your glasses and you can't see without them. Perfect. So when it comes to rejuvenation, there's nothing but the best products go into my snowblower. Uh, best yard sale products I can find. Got some race car. GT Performance SAE 50. That's a good weight. So, designed for competition engines. Well, my hot rod snowblower, that, that fits the bill. Exclusive extreme pressure additives for wear. Well, I just dumped a half a quart of gas in there, so I need some extra protection for wear. Superior high temperature stability i might not need that it's winter time so yeah recommended for supercharged turbocharged and aspirated racing engines using gasoline methanol nitromethane fuels where sae 50 motor oil is applicable awesome let's do the dump it's not rod television all right now the rejuvenation process begins. Half a liter of Pennzoil's finest. Ooh. That's thick. should do it. Let's see what the old fire maker has to say.
Well, it's been rejuvenated. Thanks for hopping on. And follow along with how not to service your Arians Compact 24. Well, she's ready to roll. Panics for the unprepared. Guess all that's left to do now is wait for it. Oh, shit.